In this video, I will show you how to install Windsurf AI on Windows and use it for web development or any kind of development. Okay, so I'll open my portfolio project after setting up the Windsurf AI on my Windows PC and I'll add some feature and then push the changes to GitHub. First of all, search Windsurf ID on Google and go to Windsurf website, which is a product of Codium. And here on the Windsurf page, you can download your installer from here. I'm clicking on download and this is the version 1.3.9. I'm saving it on my download folder and the download is almost complete. So once the download is complete, I'm opening it and just following the standard procedure for installation. Accept the agreement, next. So here, this is the directory where your Windsurf is being installed. This is not a program files folder. This is actually a folder under user app data local programs. Okay, keep that in mind. Let's click on next, creating a shortcut for start menu and creating a desktop icon and keeping everything as it is and clicking on next clicking on install and it is being installed now once the installation is done you can check this and click on finish so windsurf will start immediately it's starting for the first time clicking on get started if you have been using cursor ai already and you want to switch from cursor to windsurf then you can input from cursor or you can start fresh so windsurf is a good alternative for cursor that's why they incorporate this this feature here for me i'm just starting fresh and clicking on start fresh i want to use vs code key binding and clicking on next and here i have some theme option to select so for me i don't like a very high contrast dark or white so something like this or this one would be good so selecting tokyo night and clicking on next so now since this is a premium tool for ai assisted coding you have to login or sign up i already have a plan for windsurf so i'm clicking on login and it will open on my default browser and i have to sign in here to start to start working with windsurf so here uh, in this page uh, it will ask since i already have a account and i am already logged in it is asking me to open windsurf so that windsurf can get the uh, credential from this sign in okay i'm opening windsurf yeah I, I, I am logged in and as you can see i have a pro plan actually you can log in first before uh, starting installing and check out the plans or you can do it later when you are prompted to sign in or sign up okay so my windsurf got my credential it opened up now it's time to start surfing okay so before uh, diving into coding let's check out the ide this is pretty much like vs code so if you are a little bit familiar with vs code then i think it is good to go here is the extension here is the explorer and here is the ai magic which is cascade so here uh, we have two mode importantly one is write mode one is chat mode when the chat mode is open you can chat with the llms and you can select the desired model you want to use so for now cloud sonnet is the best the best of the best model for coding and that one is available here the two mode is very important because if you want to understand something or need some clarification or just want to chat you can just check out here so now my cloud 3.5 sonnet thinking model is here okay uh, let's start surfing mm, i'm on chat mode let's first open a folder where i'll uh, do some coding so i'm clicking on open folder this is a github page portfolio website developed with cursor ai and i'm opening this on my windsurf so for your information so for your information i have node.js 18 installed uh, and yarn and other necessary thing so if you want to start with node you have to have node installed so now my project is opened here i am on the master branch as you can see here if i want to check out the settings i can do that from here like setting and text editor if i want to let's say i want to increase my font then i can just uh, type 1.8 here and the font will be updated and if you want to change the font you also can do that so i think i'm ready to go now and i'm on chat mode Let's open a file from the source and uh, go to the context folder. Yeah, this is the project I was working on. So let's start by chatting. Okay, like I can say, analyze the pro uh, analyze the project and give me 
suggestions to make it search engine friendly okay so i asked to analyze the project and make and give me some idea to make this portfolio website more more seo friendly okay so what is doing that we are using cloud 3.5 sonnet thinking model which is costing me 1.5 credit and cloud 3.7 is uh, one credit and gpt4 is also one credit so this is very costly model okay and to use this you have to have a subscription okay so it is currently analyzing so uh, let's uh, go let's switch to write mode okay so since this project is already kind of developed and i don't want to add any features now so i'm just adding seo I, i'm just trying to make it more search engine friendly so if you want to add any feature to your project you can do anything this is the best setup for ai driven development ai assisted development as of today okay so i'm switched to write mode and asking to make the recommended changes so that my portfolio website is more search engine friendly so i asked it to make the recommended changes it is currently editing the file so i just commanded to make the changes and it is currently changing the file and the difference between this windsurf ai and cursor ai is that windsurf ai actually changes the file directly so if your server is running it will automatically start to refresh because the files in the project is directly getting modified immediately but cursor ai doesn't do that it asks you to accept then make the changes to your project file so it is kind of a trade-off if your project is small you can be okay with this uh, this uh, style of windsurf but when your project is very long i think it can make changes to different part and uh, you may need to type git status command to see the changes where the changes are made okay so there is one thing you have to be careful when using the write mode in windsurf ide okay so for me for my project i'll do necessary testing to see everything is fine and it's just a portfolio website okay so what the Okay, so it's still um, it is still working on my files. So let's see what it have done so far. It edited the content.options.js file, also the index.html file, added a new file sitemap.xml which is good. Created a 404 HTML uh, HTML page, and also structured the data map to enhance home page, and all the changes still generating. And for your information, I'm using Cloud. 3.7 thinking model which is just released yesterday and one of the best okay so now it is uh, suggesting a terminal command so what is doing it is making a new directory on my project saying public.images let's accept this in the comment i think this is kind of cool that it is doing things in autopilot mode so when windsurf ai start to write code you have to look at the prompt because it when it needs something from your side like accepting something or similar then you have to accept or take an action on that so that it can proceed so since all the thing are all the suggested uh, changes are done here i'm clicking on accept or i can manually accept things i'm clicking on accept all at once okay so now let's open my terminal and type git status and i can see that uh, new files have been created two new files one is uh, sitemap.xml another one is 404.html fail html page default fallback page and it have modified a lot of files at once at single command okay uh, let's uh, start my project this is a yarn project so i will type yarn install to see if everything is all right yeah all dependencies are set up now let's uh, start the project yarn start and the project looks pretty much like it was before so that is good because i just asked to make the project seo friendly theme is working fine the menu is fine the portfolio page have some featured videos for my youtube channel and the and everything is fine it added some new files so i think this is great because the file it have added is actually required for seo friendly website right so now let's uh, let's let's see how the rest of the action is done so i'm still on write mode commit the changes and push the code to remote let's see how, what it does yeah it is working 
suggested terminal command is git status and it is showing me the changes once again the suggested command for adding to git which is cool it is doing automatically i'm just i'm just selecting okay so it have it have written a commit message for this change which is feature implement comprehensive seo improvement okay and then some additional details which is very long but the starting which will be visible is good so i'm accepting it and now it is continuing to work git push origin master yeah it is uh, pushing to my remote master branch Clicking on accept so things are cool so if you are new to this git is a uh, version version control tool for coding and it is very easy to use and install you can install git and uh, if you are not familiar i think uh, most of the developer nowadays knows about git earlier in my youtube channel i have got some comment that people are not understanding what is git so that's why i'm explaining it so everything is looking good now this is how you can uh, this is how you can uh, use windsurf ai to do the necessary changes so since things are committed i can also i can uh, play with this windsurf some more for this tutorial purpose so let's uh, let's change check the cloud 3.7 lm again and uh, right in my right mode i uh, i can say that add a new feature so this is a very long message i've instructed to add some new feature which is uh, which is a feature of blog so in my portfolio website currently there have some um, there are some menu like portfolio about contact i want to have a new menu called blog and that will show some blog for now it will have some dummy blog which i can easily change later okay so i've instructed it with cloud 3.7 and let's see what it does create a new blog dot uh, yeah once again it is compiling as you can see so when the files are changed webpack is automatically recompiling it is showing some error because server is running and server is trying to recompile and the uh, ai is changing the files so it is now asking me to uh, run a command yarn add react markdown a dependency is required for this new feature yeah i'm accepting this adding the new dependency and webpack is trying to recompile because my server is running if i close the server that will be a good idea yeah now server, the server is closed okay so you can move the window left and right anywhere as you want still coding creating a new directory called blog images i'm clicking on accept a new directory is created and I'm suggesting to uh -uh. It is uh, trying to commit all the changes at one go. Uh, I do not want to do that. I am rejecting it. I'm just, uh, I'm just want to see the output first. Then I want to add to Git. Okay. It is asking seven new fi seven files need review. Okay. So one file, two file, three file. Those are the new files where the changes are made. Index.js. A new route is handled here. I guess a new JS file called routes.js uh, is, is this a new file no this is a modified file this one is a new file blog dot details blog hyphen details a new file to show the blogging and yeah, index.js and all the other thing so let's accept uh let's accept everything so since accept all changes click on accept all the changes and now let's uh, start the server once again here and start and my project will start let's see how it looks the blog page is already appeared here so in the menu currently i have a new menu called blogs if i click on that oh that is nice i, I can see that some new some new blogs are added so java backend development vlog is this uh, if i click on scalable system it have already generated some dummy blog so i hope you got some idea how to use this ai and the exciting thing is the 
Cloud 3.7 Sonnet thinking model. And I, I want to wrap up here for this tutorial and I'll not... Uh, and some important thing about this uh, ID is if you want explanation for uh, some code, then you can select that part and you can uh, you can insert files with at the rate annotation here. You can add documentaries, directories, add directories, etc. So that's all for this tutorial. If you want, uh, let me know what what do you think about this ai trend that everyone is trying to quote with the help of ai and what what can be the possible impact for this tool okay so i'll see you in the comment section below happy coding